Hello everybody. Welcome back to your weekly dose of terrible content. Today we're going to be building a slim thick fantasy house. And you might be curious what I mean by a slick, thin... Yes, we're building a house. So what we're going to be building today is this kind of fantasy style, very thin kind of townhousey looking thing. I like it. It's pretty cool. You can go inside here. I'm not going to do the interior like usual, but this can give you some simple ideas here. You know, it's kind of tight, but you can certainly fit a lot of stuff in here, so... Yeah. So let's... I broke the game. Dang it. This happens all the time. So what we're going to do is we're going to find an empty piece of land next to all of our test builds. So like right here, where I can... where these... These blocks were conveniently placed in the order that I need. And I have no idea who did that. So what we want to do here is we basically want to build six logs here. And by the way, I'm using stripped birch oak. or stripped birch logs. We're going to have a three block gap between each of these on the long sides and a one block gap here. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to bring all these guys to being four blocks tall. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Four and one, two, three, four. And then we're also bringing all these guys out two blocks, like so. And we're rocking and rolling. We're also going to go ahead and make a beam structure here, where we go into the middle piece of the logs, like so, on the longer sides, and for the shorter sides, you just filled in. We're also going to bring these guys out by one. Wow so complex. Now we're going to go up four blocks here, like so, two blocks here, four blocks here, another four blocks here, two here, and four here. Now hopefully I haven't lost you guys yet, because this is when it's going to start getting a little complicated. Now we're going to build our kind of curved roof here. So what we're going to do is, we're going to build two out, like so, and then we're going to go in two blocks and out two, like so. And then we're going to go up another two blocks, like so. Now we're going to do the exact same thing to the other side. One, two, wait, 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 don't do what I just did. This build took me so long to, to actually like figure out and memorize because like I kept I kept doing that when I was practicing it, and I get to the point where I'm like, why isn't my roof working? And everything was terrible. I put too many hours into this. I had to make three whole test builds, and I had to delete like one of them at one point. Man, it, it's been rough. So, not that anyone cares about my problems, but let's go ahead and start finishing this, doing this roof here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna build three stairs like so. Do that to each side. One, two, three, one, two, three. I really should just rename these videos just counting tutorials because all we do is count to three and I mess up half the time so we can relate. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna bring each of these guys down one block. And our roof is looking absolutely diabolical. Next, we're going to go up to these guys here, place stairs in this fashion, like so, and do that to the other side as well. Now, the next thing we're going to do here is we're going to fill in our gaps here, like so. Okay, perfect. Next thing is, I kind of I like to cover up these bo the bombs of the logs here. So we're gonna do literally exactly that. Also, make sure to add this half slab here, or just slab. You'll see why I like to do that in a few minutes. But I'll go ahead and give you guys a sneak peek there. Right now, the next thing we have to do is we have to connect our two roofs here. So what I like to do is I go one block here. Go up, go oh, down one, go over here, make this kind of shape, and then just connect these guys like so. And 
one missing that guy there. Perfect. Now let's do the exact same thing over here. Put our test block here. Another test block here. One, two, three, one, two, three. Up one, like so. Then up one, like so. And also make sure to f add a little piece right there. Now, next thing we're going to do is we're going to delete this block up here and replace it with just a birch plank itself. Now we're going to bring this guy out one block, go down a half slab, or down a slab. Then we're going to put a stair right here to connect it. We're going to basically do that where we add a slab to the bottom and then extend it one block out. I didn't miss a block, did I? No, I didn't. I don't think. Now we should be good. Now we're going to go down another half slab, another slab, like so. Also going to add an extra block here to give it some more curvature. Next thing we're going to do here is we're going to make our little pointy things. And these are actually not too bad to build. So we're going to take a birch plank, a birch stair, and go up, and go up like so. Now we're going to do the exact same thing over here. Block, and block. And that's the outline of our roof here. Now let's go ahead and fill in this roof here. So I like to start with the lower green part of this roof here because this is easier to memorize and then you can just basically fill in the top from this one piece. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to this piece here, take, build one block up, then take a, a slab down, go ahead and cover up the lower sections, going to go down a block, and do this. I'm going to connect this guy with a hat with a slab and let's go ahead and fill in this here. Not too bad. Now this part's pretty easy. We just basically put everything on the next level. And by the way, I'm using dark prismarine slabs. And we just fill this in like it's nothing. Oops. This is sort of going to be like 80% roof and like 5% house. And like the remaining percent, me being an idiot. So, alright. Now that we've done one half the roof, we're going to do the exact same thing, but on the other side. So, one block, down a slab, then down a full block. And then we're going to go over to and now we're just going to fill in the top part of our roof like so. By the way, something you could totally add to this build that I personally didn't is you could easily add like a cool looking chimney or something. I just really didn't want to to be completely honest. It's not the fact that it would be hard to, it's just that I was lazy. So you can literally add like a cool looking chimney to this pretty easily. You know, just using some more prismarine slabs and like a campfire or something. But that's for some but that's for people who are more creative than me, so I'll leave it up to y'all. And now just like that, we have a roof. Wow, it only took like ten minutes. So now the rest of this is gonna seem pretty easy easy in comparison. So what we're going to do first is let's go ahead and fill in these guys here. So the first thing is here we're going to leave a little doorway and the rest of these guys we're just going to completely fill in on the block on the bottom floor here. Two, three. Easy. 
Now, before we get to the top, let's go ahead and finish our framing here. So we're going to go up four blocks here, and we're going to bring this section across like so. And we also go ahead and fill in this top section right here. And let's go ahead and do that on the other side as well. So again, up four, one, two, three, four. Make it meet this crossing beam right here, which is just the lowest piece of the arching roof. And then we just fill in with smooth sandstone, like so. Now let's go ahead and do these windows here. So what we do is we fill in this entire section here, this three by four with smooth sandstone and take out these two blocks here to make a little eye. Again, we do that again here. Uh, I can fit through windows. Now we're going to basically put our windows right through here. And let's do the same thing on the other side. Fantastic. Now let's go ahead and make our windows here. So the first thing here is we're going to fill in this wall completely. Like so. We can't fill in this last block here because of the dark prismarine. So we're just going to skip it. Doesn't really affect anything. And ov But over here we're going to add a window. Like so. And we're going to do that for the remaining three sides. Window. Window. And window. Awesome. Now let's take some spruce fences here. I want to do one more thing on the nothing on the outside here. We're basically going to build three fences here, one fence here, and three here. Don't ask me why I do that. I just th I just think it looks better personally. Perfection. Now I'm going to grab a button, and it's a birch button, and we're going to fill in a couple areas here. So we're going to put a, a button on all of the exposed logs here. Also going to put one here and here, three here, no, three here, one here, wait, no, yeah, and then four there. And also one, two, three, four here. Now this is our doorway, so one thing I like to do as well is I like to put this little pattern here. Makes it look a bit nicer. Now, when I was first building this, I really didn't like how these walls looked, so I came up with a solution. And what that solution is, is that I basically take some birch stairs, put them upside down like so, a birch slab in the middle, two on the outside to make this little H thingy looking thing, and then I put a birch fence on it. And I think that looks cool. So we're going to go ahead and do that for the three remaining sides where we do not have our door. One, two, three, one, 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 two, one two, three, one, two, one, two. Awesome. Now, one more thing I do like to do is I like to add like a little flower spot. So the way I do that is I take a birch slab, basically put one right here. I'll put a grass block, three birch trap doors, and then a corn flower or any type of flower really on top of that. I'm going to do the same thing over here. I'm going to do it right here. So again, one, two, three, and a corn flower. Awesome. So now there's one more little thing I like to do. So I originally had another flower here, but I thought that looked really dumb. So I thought about what other things I could add that would make it look even dumber. And you know what? Wind turbines. I think that would be a really stupid thing to add here, so we're going to go ahead and do that. So we're going to take some smooth quartz blocks, an iron trap door, a birch trap door, and some levers. The levers will... I'll show you in a second. So we're going to take some stripped birch logs, go three blocks out, like so, add birch fences on the four exposed sides, and now we're just going to build two blocks in each direction like so and that's also by the way one of the ways you can make like a mini little windmill and one more thing I like to do is I like to give it some more shape so what I do is I put one here I'm going to put a lever here one thing you want to keep in mind when you're doing this is that you want all of your trapdoors kind of situated the same way so you see like if you do a 90, 90 rotation here like a 90 degree rotation this guy here will turn into this guy here 
And we're going to do that again up here. Wrong way. And then again, right here. To top it all off, we're going to add a bird strap door. Like so. And that's going to conclude the exterior of this guy. Now, I don't like to do interiors, but I'll go ahead and show you the basics of this one. So basically, you're going to grab all the things that are spruce. So a trap door, planks, stairs, and a slab. And we're going to come in into here. I'm going to put three down here. And by the way, we need a door. I don't really like the way the birch door looks, but... It's the only one that really fits right here, so I just like to keep it open. So we're gonna put we're gonna replace our entire floor with spruce planks. Like so, easy enough. Wonderful. And then we're gonna build a staircase up. And place a block here. Slaps here. Full block here. A trap door here. And then we're going to do this guy, this guy. By the way, you can delete these two blocks here. They're just kind of extras that end up in the build. We're going to basically surround our edge like so. And then we're going to add a slab and then a trap door like so. And, th and that'll give you the, your floor here. Now, I don't like looking at this, so I kind of like, like to cover it up. So what I do is I take some birch logs and go around that. Then I fill in this top area with our floor material which I used spruce for. And But you'll notice that we still have some blocks here. So what I do is I take a smooth sandstone stair and I go around it like so. I kind of cover it up. One, two, three. Like so. And one more thing I like to do is I'll take a ladder, I'll put one, two, three here, and I like to put my sleeping area here just cause, cause it's like the perfect amount of room so I'll just plop down a regular bed or something here like so and I can sleep there. Um, come back up here, I'll usually put like some trap doors here and here, another one here, uh, one there, another there. Put some maybe some chests or something like so. I don't think you can actually access chests here. I just like kind of the look here. Um, maybe take some furnaces, put them like here and here. I'm gonna get rid of my torches. Put one torch there. I love how I'm, I'm doing actually like doing the interior when I said I wouldn't do it. That's just how much I like I appreciate the patronage and the homage and like the homies and everything. So we're gonna take a crafting table. I always cra call it a workbench for some reason. I really don't know why. I also like to take some bookshelves. You know, make it look like we're smart and everything. I also like to put some here. Take maybe a pot. What's a nice flower? We'll take a orchid and whatever this is. And what did I do there? Okay, allium, like so. A flower pot here. Blue orchid there. Maybe like I can throw an armor stand here. And obviously, I can throw some paintings around too if I want to. So maybe like. Uh, something here, and it's gonna really do that to me. Painting here, like so. I don't know why paintings are kind of weird in Minecraft, like so. And that's how you could build a pretty cool looking uh, fantasy slim thick house. If you like this kind of content, please go ahead and let me know. I'd appreciate it if you liked and subscribed and all that jazz. And I really don't have too much else to say here, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap the video up. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you all and have a great day.